We got a new trailer. A new to us trailer. There really wasn't anything wrong with the old trailer, but let's rewind a little. Only six short hours away, we found one of the last living Hobie Mirage Tandem Island kayaks. And it took us six months of searching to find somebody that actually had one for sale. Overall, the trip up there was really nice. There was beautiful scenery, interesting architecture. We went over bridges and under the water through the tunnels, which bothered me a little bit. I'm a little scared of that. But it was really nice. At least on the way up there it was. We made it to the Paddle Sports location and everything was set up and ready to go for us. Finally on our way home, looking forward to the beautiful scenery again and a hopefully relaxing trip back to see our doggies. But that's not exactly what happened. And then we blew a tire in the middle of nowhere. We were able to make it down to a gas station with the flat and uh, park it safely, but that's where our adventure took a, took a wrong turn. We could not find an open business uh, that would be able to give us a spare. As a matter of fact, all the, all the places around us didn't have the size we needed anyway. The insurance company was, um, was supposed to be sending us a tow truck. It never showed up. Hours passed, never showed up. Getting in touch with a different person from the insurance company, they finally, um, finally arranged having a tow truck sent to us, but it did not come until the morning. We really liked this aluminum Trailex trailer. It was light. It was very easy for even me to just move around the driveway anywhere I wanted it with the boat on it. But we needed a little bit more from the trailer. We needed something that could endure a very long trip. We planned on going down to Florida and... Uh, the aluminum trailer was just too light for such a long trip, the tires were too small. So we did some Craigslist searching and we did find this trailer, about $1,400, and uh, made a few modifications. We also needed a little bit of practice, since this trailer was longer, wider, heavier uh, than our little aluminum trailer, so we hit them all. Can you undo the cleat on the further, the brown one? Thank you. Let's see where the wind's blowing from. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me too. Yep. Got the old brain navigation system on. So you think that's where we were the last time? I don't know. Let's go check it out. We're not. Let me pull a bit more. We're moving, it's just very gently. Thank you. 
It's gonna be a gentle sail day. That's right. A little more nerve-wracking than last time for a couple reasons. One, because I know it's really cold, and if we were to actually flip over, it would take us a while to get it back over, Correct. and we would be freezing, yeah. and we don't want to be freezing. Correct. Hence the wetsuit. Hence the wetsuit, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That piece looks different from the one we went to. Oh, it is different. I think it's around that point up there. So something we have to watch for. Because we get closer to shore, the starboard side, the right side, is where the wind's coming from. And with, with the uh, shore blocking some of it, we'll probably get a few bursts here and there. And those bursts are what we experienced a few minutes ago when we almost flipped over. When I was just oblivious to it. Yeah. If we end up do flipping over, we will absolutely fall on the port side, the left side. Uh -huh. um, the biggest point. Yeah, the biggest point of failure is where it latches right here, uh -huh. because there's just a small, small like hard plastic pin holding that in. If that folds in while the boat's leaning that way, it'll roll over that direction. And we'll, it, we will be on our side, which will be flipped over. It is. Yep. Yeah. You look cute. Hold that. Please. I did. I put it in. On that one, yes. It, one side was loose. Why not undo the bag?
it maybe it does this it sits in and locks back and hooks in the back it doesn't actually latch in the front it just sits in place maybe you're just too damn light I have the reins. Is it lo is it comfortable at least? Uh, I'm leaning to the left. It's that drives me insane. Were you? You're leaning to the left. Mm -hmm. it Try it again. You must have been holding on to the the rudder thing. I was like, why can't I steer? Oh, honey, I, have my knees down on it. I was I was trying to steer. And I literally could see it. I'm like, I, there should be no reason why I can't steer right now. Stop him. Very good. Hit a rock. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we want to be able to be in the water. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's that's the um, the one I was looking at. He said, "Get this boat if you want to stay dry." That's a jib. And in front of that is a another uh, sail of the front. That's a roller furling uh, spinnaker, it looks like. Or a general, I don't know which. That's probably a spinnaker. And besides, I sped up a little bit, tried to pass them. Wind's kind of died a little. It doesn't? We're not moving. Yeah, he saw us.
Oh, is it recording? <laughs> this trip was different than the last trip. Because the water was very cold and we don't have wetsuits yet, uh, we were very calm. It was much more windy. It was very windy. There's a couple times we almost flipped over and we would have not been in a good situation if we had fell on the water. I was dressed a lot warmer though and I used your old raincoat to cover my legs which kept them dry and I'm wearing wool so that helped. Double we layers. Definitely need wetsuits. I was not cold in the boat like I was last time and I didn't get hardly wet at all. We need to be able to flip the boat completely over, be in the water while it's cold and get back on the boat without getting hypothermia. So all, yeah. all the the whole boat the whole boat could have flipped with just one little pin breaking and that's what's what to be very careful about. Been doing a lot of research on wetsuits and skiff suits and dry suits and all kinds of things like that and it's just We'd love to get something we could use multi-purpose, but might just, I don't, I don't know. I've, I've seen the jumpsuits that are uh, wind and waterproof. Uh, might look into that. Um, I don't want a dry suit. I mean, I do, I want a dry suit, but I really just don't want the expense of it. We can't afford to have dry suits and wet suits. And right. I feel like a wet suit will cover both situations. It'll cover, it'll cover us getting wet and it'll also cover saving our lives. Yes. And a dry suit's real expensive and though it's very good for a kayak, the fact of the matter is put one hole in it and it's no longer in, it's trash in them. Right. Then they they are by far more expensive than wet suits. Definitely. The new trailer is much better than the old trailer. I don't have any problem with the Trail X's at all just for coming down to the lake. However, with it bouncing around, with us coming back from uh, Delaware and blowing the tire with... And the, the kayak is so light. So, yeah, the kayak is so light as it is. If we're just running down to Jordan Lake or something, no problem. But if we're driving all the way to home, Destin, Florida, I, we just can't handle that. Got to have something a little more substantial, a little more weight on it. This trailer is a trick. For $1,400, I feel like... As long as it lasts a couple of years, it was worth it. Like we couldn't afford to, to buy a brand new trailer. We found this for $1,400 online. We're going to put about another four or $500 in it, having the tires replaced and the uh, hubs re-greased and packed, just to be safe. Because it's old. I have no idea anything about the inside of the trailer. I haven't taken a hammer down. I don't know how much we thrust it out. But I feel like for the price, since you can't get it anyway right now, everything's super expensive, $1,400 is a pretty good deal.